Hi guys and welcome back to another video from me Gary at startswarehouse.com I'm just about getting ready to start the sculpting process in clay on the head cast uh, but I just thought I'll show you a few more tools that I've acquired to try and help me out as I said before um, I went to a local pet supply store and got some aquarium filters these kind of just act the same as the um, beard sponges, stipple sponges. Um, so I've got a few of those. Also got some cake decorating tools. This might come in handy at some point. I'm not sure when, but there was only like one pound. 70 I think from eBay all the way from Hong Kong I also went to the pound store and got this this did come with a handle on the back but I snapped that off just for ease of use it's a dog comb obviously it's got light metal fine metal combs on it for sculpting and shaping I've got a soft bristle brush for smoothing when it comes to the smoothing part again Got some makeup sponges also from the pound shop for smoothing out and I made these as well these are hacksaw blades and junior hacksaw blades heated them up bent them into a circular shape got some old copper pipe squashed them into the end and put a bit of solder in to hold them in place so I make a grooved um, sculpting tool really. Um, other than that, as you can see in the far back I have the spray bottle. Uh, I put a mixture of bleach and water into that because apparently the bleach stops mould growing on the wet clay because it grows mould after a time. And also in the back over there you see a bucket, a big bucket. I thought I'd try this out. Um, also with these cheap tea towels that I bought. Um, overnight I wet the tea towels, put it over the sculpt and I placed them into a bin bag and put the whole sculpt into the bucket which is airtight and hopefully it'll keep it a long time without drying out as fast. So for now I'm going to start on the sculpt and I'll come back to you a little bit later. Okay, so here we go with the pictures. This is the first sculpt that I started. Um, I didn't wasn't too pleased how this came out, doing the whole helmet as a complete shape. Um, so after I did that, I ripped the clay off maybe twice before I actually get into the next uh, photo that you'll see in a second, which is when I started sculpting it with the faceplate open, which is here. I sculpted it with the faceplate open first so I could see the actual dimensions a lot better and it did kind of turn out better although I still wasn't completely pleased with it in the end but if you've been following my Facebook page uh, you'll see that I am gonna, I'm going to offer a competition to win um, the cast of this helmet that you can see being built here um, so the helmet that you see is the helmet that you can win. Um, the only thing that is missing from the helmet once the cast is done is the ears. I've cut an all out for the ear placements um, but the actual ears themselves are missing. Um, I mean if you just want to leave it like that if you do win it that's fine. But the only reason I am going to give it away because I'm not happy with it is I kind of made a mistake and one side of the head is kind of longer than the other side so the ears are a bit out of a line alignment so as you can see this is the finished sculpt but because of the minor imperfections I won't actually be taking it into my costume so I'm giving it away to you guys so keep an eye out on my Facebook page and you could be the owner of this helmet so, thanks for watching my updates, and I'll see you soon, guys.